What's going on guys, Shane here. So, might not be the most interesting video, but today I wanna to go over how to wrap hands for amateur Muay Thai, boxing, even pro level, okay? So, this is Mike here on the right, it's my coach Marco on the left at Sweet Science Boxing Gym. Come check us out in Hawthorne, California. First thing you wanna do is massage the fighter's hands and forearm, and make sure that they are rested on a towel. You don't want them to fatigue their, their arm or their hand, or anything like that. So the first thing that we're gonna do is wrap gauze around the wrist. We're gonna go around 10 to 12 times. You wanna make sure that you have good wrist support. You wanna make sure that we're protecting the thumb, obviously the knuckles. When you're doing this, make sure your fighter has a straight wrist the whole time, okay? Once we get up towards the knuckles, we make sure that their hands, their fingers are spread out nice and wide. So now we're gonna go around the thumb. We're gonna go around just once. We'll go around about three times in total. Come once more back around the wrist, and now we're gonna come up. Now I want you to take notice here. Never wrap the palm, okay? You always want that open. So no matter what you do, don't go across the palm. We went across the back of the hand. We're gonna go about two or three times around the knuckles. We're gonna come back around the wrist, once more around the thumb, okay? More protection for the thumb. If you hit with your thumb by accident, it's protected and you don't want too much around there because you wouldn't be able to make a fist. Again, around the back of the hand and once more around the knuckles. Now right here is about one fourth roll of gauze. This is so that we can add protection. Now, you're gonna hold it in place with two more wraps around, but you can see it's pretty wide there. It's about four or five inches. This is so that we can fold it over, okay? So we hold it in place with one end. We fold it over so that it's, it's double padded now, and then we go back over top with our gauze, okay? So you'll see the end product, which we looked at before, a lot of padding over the knuckles, okay? You see Marco there said, keep your, your fingers open. This is actually Mike's first fight. Uh, he won, he won this fight. He did great. But um, make sure you keep your fingers wide so that your, your hand has room to breathe once it's done. So we went around the knuckles a couple of times here. Now Marco's gonna go back around the back of the hand. He's gonna go back, make that X shape. Again, over the back of the hand, never going over the palm. Gonna make that X shape again, okay? Go around the wrist. Now, what you need to do here is very important. Have your fighter make a fist, okay? Now, watch the position that he's at here. He's gonna make that X, he's gonna go around the bottom of the knuckles, around the hand, and he's gonna go across the knuckles. Now, this holds it in place, okay? You can see he's keeping it very tight. You're gonna go towards the wrist, around the wrist, okay? Now, go around the wrist one more time, and you're gonna come back up, make that X shape again. Again, underneath the knuckles, across the knuckles, and you can see how tight he's making it here, making sure it's nice and compact. A ton of protection over the knuckles. That's what you're punching with. Those are the money makers. You gotta make sure they're protected. Again, you make that X, you go across the back of the hand. All right, and then he cuts it. Okay, now we're gonna tape it into place. So you wanna make sure you have a non-latex tape. I know some, some organizations are very strict with that. People are allergic to latex. So, the tape, the gauze here, you can get at a pharmacy, you know, a supermarket, something like that. First aid gauze. They're gonna go around about three times. Now when you're doing tape, you, can, you can't go over the knuckles with tape because it'll be too hard, okay? You have to be, they say two inches, but it's usually about two fingers from the knuckles. So we're going a couple times, we went about four times, five times around the wrist to hold that gauze in place and to give some more wrist support. Now he's gonna go close to the knuckles. So see how close the tape is to the knuckles? That's the closest you can get. You can't get any more closer than that. So he goes around the knuckles, underneath, make sure it's nice and secure, nice and tight. And what he's doing here is actually, you'll see when he flips his hand around, he's trying to get a little lift underneath of the knuckles because what you're gonna do here so that you can make a tight fist, you can go with tape in between the knuckles. So that's what he's doing here. Tape goes underneath of the gauze, that pad right there. He's gonna twist it a couple times so it's nice and thin, so it doesn't irritate him between your fingers. And you'll see as he flips his hand over, what he's doing here is going in between the knuckles. So this is legal because the tape isn't over the knuckles, it's in between the knuckles, okay? Most people do this, you can do this with tape. You can see what Marco does here is he tapes it in place with more tape. You can do it with gauze too. If you wanna take gauze and go in between the knuckles, that works as well and you're gonna go in between each set of fingers. Okay, so you went through the middle fingers first. Now you're gonna tuck it, you're gonna pinch the tape, roll it a couple times so it gets nice and thin, doesn't irritate the fingers. Have your fighter roll their hand over, 
and then same thing, you're gonna pull it down towards the wrist, and the whole time you have your fighter making a tight fist at this point, okay? You want them to be able to breathe. If you have an open hand when you do this, when they make a fist, there's gonna be too much irritation. You're not gonna be able to make a fist. So have a fist when you do it, and it'll be perfect. But from here, we're gonna get the last set of fingers. Same thing, you're gonna tuck underneath. You're going to pinch the tape, and you're gonna roll it a couple of times. Get it nice and thin. And same thing, you're gonna go to the wrist and tape it in place. Go around the wrist a couple of times. Make sure everything is in place. Make sure there's plenty of wrist support. And make sure those the pieces of tape in between are being held down nice and tight. Again, you can't go over the knuckles. So get that two fingers or two inches from the knuckles. Tape those three pieces of tape down, the ones that went in between your fingers. And you're gonna go about once around the thumb. Again, you wanna be able to make a fist, okay? But you wanna have protection. So about once around the thumb, maybe twice. Make sure your fighter has protected hands. It is very important. If you break your hand mid-fight, you're not gonna be able to use that hand, okay? And you're gonna be months out of training, out of fighting and competing, so you need to make sure that you have your hands properly wrapped. All right, don't be cheap on the tape, don't be cheap on the gauze, and, uh, and you'll be good to go. This is a great wrap here. Sometimes it's a, it's a little tight. If your fighter wasn't keeping a, a firm, open hand, something like that, you can always cut around here. What Marco's doing is just sort of massaging, lifting, um, creating some open space here. And if you have to, if you feel that it's too tight, you can cut around those, those spots. Make sure you pat it down, make sure it feels good, make sure they're, they're not cutting off circulation. And that is how you wrap hands for amateur and professional boxing and Muay Thai. Thanks for watching guys. So for more fight videos, I know this wasn't the most intense one, but I, I had to get this video up, all right? As a fight channel, gotta get this up. Make sure you subscribe so you can get the fight tips before your opponent does and all the other great videos. And guys, here's a link right here to start training with me online at my fight gym. Live seminars, pre-recorded workouts, virtual sparring, martial arts from boxing, Muay Thai, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, wrestling, whatever you're looking for, we got it. Start your free two week trial today. You will not be disappointed, I promise you. We'll see you there.